Well, hello and welcome back to Crowsed Model Railway. Um, and this is going to be sort of my first proper video of the year, and also a little bit of a future plan as to what the future of the layout will be. Um, as I talk, I'll bring 2251 in to stop the station with the 3X LMX coaches. Uh, the um, sort of main things I want to do this year is I want to finish my end gauge layout so I've got to try and find some buildings that I or something I like in a section by my engine shed or locomotive house because it's a Japanese layout um, I've got to do a little bit around the road um, sort of scenes uh, with my second radius light railway type layout which you would have seen a lot of a sneak peek of um, ready for a layout update on that layout in my last short video um, where I uh, sort of confess I have a little bit of a problem for back when USA tanks but seeing as I've got eight of the twelve they've made I think I have enough I think They're just amazing ones. They're the. Well, it might be my luck or whatnot, but they're the best running small locomotives I've come across. Um, but. Um, before I go on a tangent, um, Crowswood. It probably won't be until around March time, but I'm going to be taking. Ev well, the plan is to take everything off the boards. Keep the boards in place because if I can reuse them, that would be very helpful and very beneficial rather than having to pay for new boards to be put in. It's a lot cheaper. Um, but the idea is just everything off and then go over the track, see what points and what bits of track are alright and whatnot because it seems like. There's a couple of areas where the voltage is dropping just a little bit. So where the curve where the coaches are behind my 4F sort of oh, the castle tower tower park curve. Um, that fourth radius bit seems to have a bit of a little bit of a power drop, which is strange because the power goes in straight under this uh, bridge. It might be the point, I don't know, because there is a point in the middle of the station which will not be happening on the rebuild and the station also won't be on this side. The station is going to be over the back. And it will be a slightly longer um, third and fourth radius running line with a second radius uh, loop inside for smaller engines and leading into my industry which I've got planned. I've done some track plans on any rail I've gotten some I'm quite content with so even over here there'll be, there's going to be a junction here which then splits off and comes into here which then comes up and splits into two lines so I'm going to split into two lines running along there so instead of having six of bays for engines as I have right now there'll be five but I will have sort of a passing loop and extra sidings along here where I can park some wagons a coach or two or um, even the bullied booster because um, my local shops having the back on delivery in February and hopefully my bully booster which is in the grey is going to be here I'm really, really looking forward to that. Like, uh, and I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. I have seen reviews. Obviously, I've not actually seen it in the flesh yet. But it's a new Southern locomotive. It's exciting. Um, he says not running any Southern stock. Um. This will be the main junction. I'm going to have a sort of a, where the church is, that's going to be a line which comes off the second radius. 
um, sort of a, a passing loop. So the curve of this curve is, say, it'll probably be about here, the second radius. And it'll then have a point here coming up, joining a point over there, which will sort of give me a bit of a passing loop. Um, I'm going to have extra wires because this try and get around the fact that there seems to be a little bit of voltage drop if I have booster wires sort of coming from underneath and then going around halfway around the layout from wherever it is the power goes in on the new track plan which will probably be here so that's where the primary power will, will probably end up that will go in where the fourth is going now, where, that, where the current junction is. So the junction I've got planned is quite a bit bigger. So it's not going to be started until sort of February, March time. Um, so I can go over all my plans, make sure everything's all right. I have family coming up in March as well including someone who's not seen this layout so I want to keep it for him to have a look at before I take the uh, wallpaper scraper and <laughs> scrape all the cork off I'm going to have to um, find a way to get all that sand all the sand over there up because not all that's on cork I want to try and save as much as I can um, this Model D will likely um, be used for the new, whoop, I apologise, moving everything around, engine whatnot facility over up there. And I have a Model Q, I think it's the Model Q, which is the four line controller, and that will operate my industry. It will operate the three running lines as well. Most of the points are going to be accessible to me sat in my chair and I'm wiggling my chair um, so I can access them and I can play trains a bit more I can have sort of stuff coming in moving around um, this year I want to get a southern 2 bill and so I've planned the head shunt over here to fit a 2 bill so in theory I could store a 2 bill up along that wall where the chimney breast is and hopefully, it all goes to plan. Um, the layout's going to be raised a little bit on probably about an inch of polystyrene, so not a lot, but just enough that I can sort of carve down so it can be look, look like it's at the top of an embankment in a couple of places. And hopefully, it all look quite a bit better um, in terms of the station. Oops. I'm looking at the Backman Bluebell buildings and the Hornby Southeastern Railway buildings because they're both about right. Um, Backman's are obviously being a Bluebell Railway, is obviously London, Brighton, South Coast, which is my primary inspiration. However, the Southeastern ones are also acceptable. I might use a blend of both to be fair, I might use the, I'm probably going to be using the signal box. I'll have a Great Western signal box as a little reference. Hopefully I can save this one. If I can't save this one, I'll just get another one. And uh, I'll probably have that uh, either in my industry or over in my, along the wall for the sort of power depot. For loco storage, and it'll be um, home. We've got some southeastern railway sort of shelters as well, so I'll probably pick those up at some point. Um, I have another one of these coming. It's in a. It's in the Egyptian lettering, slightly earlier, black with the green lining. Ooh. These are, I think, wonderful engines. Um, the idea behind the B4s is they're going to wreck my industry, which is not quite LBSC southeast of England, but it'll be a little bit like Southampton docks. 
but not quite to that extent. I want to have a lot of a nod to a dockyard and so so about here is where I'm going to stable this little B4 and the second B4 um, I'll probably be near it as well so I can have two shunters slash pilots moving stuff around in the middle so I can do some shunting I can access all, almost all the points for in this which is enough on this side that mess down there is because I'm going through some bits ready now so it's just so I've got enough so, m enough access where I can access most of the points and I can have a bit of fun bit of um, just a little bit of interest stuff happening and so over at the church as well well the church is now the engine will come up there'll be some wagons I could just move it around so while I run two or even three scenic trains I can have a little bit of shunting going on in the middle as well so these are wonderfully controlled they're not heavy at all they probably could do with being a little bit heavier but they're wonderfully controlled Put her back on the into the goods area. I'm still sticking with the Southern Railway. That's not changing. I'm still sticking with DC. I'm not doing digital. Um, yeah, I'm getting a Model Q, which is going to operate three the three lines of the up line, the down line, the bi-directional goods line, and it's also going to work the industry in the middle and then I'll have the Model D because unfortunately there isn't like a Model H for a hexagonal or hex or whatever whatever 6 is um, the war would be easier so I'll have the Model D for the area for the motor power depot and the steam shed and we'll just go from there So I have got the finished track plan. Oh, I've got in here as I've got. Oh, I've got my notepad, trusty notepad, and oh, all the track I need. I'm gonna try and save as much as what I've got here before I then go on to sort of get what I need to get from the notepad. And I'll be able to have, hopefully, a, a bit cheaper. These points should be, most of them should be serviceable. One or two of them might be a bit dodgy. I know that the... Let's get to it. That one. Well, I'll see if I could tap it. Hang on. Oh, hang on, right, so... The first point, the, the four of us can hit, actually. That one in the junction, so the first one in the junction words they're a thing um, that should um, probably be looked at because it's a little bit iffy some of my engines don't like running over it um, it's had to be warped slightly and pinned because there's something up with it where quite a few engines Mostly Backman ones, interestingly, but not exclusively Backman ones. Um, it was a bit tight for them. So this is a Backman 4F, and as it's a bit modified now, no problem at all. Right. So I set 2251 off again. Just quite a reliable engine. She might need a little bit of lubricating, and then she's squeaking. Um, but there's one for the um, people who are interested. The X LMS sort of engine is pulling XGWR coaches, and the XGWR engine is pulling X LMS coaches. 
Hope it improves the polystyrene as well. I'll be able to get it a bit flatter, a bit nicer. And just generally have a bit of a better setup. It'll be bigger, it'll be in, probably be, so probably it will be a lot less scenic. They don't need to buy a soldering iron, but that's not a problem. Uh, one thing I did purchase, which I haven't used yet, are these little cats. I have another six cats to put onto a layout. There's six on this layout, and I'll be able to add these six and sort of add them around. Try and I know all my animals are, I'm going to take them off, there's a couple of magpies. Might be able to see the white in their tails, so I can take them off. Um, the out name will still be Crowswood, but I might rename the station to Crowswood West, Crowswood East. Um, sort of keeping in with the new station, sort of keep, keeping in with the so inspiration to well, my hometown has now has three train stations but as it was before the new towns um, were put into law or business um, there it was obviously villages so three bridges Crawley Ifield and so sticking with that sort of thing So that's the plans for Crowswood. Um, what I'll do next is I'll go into my end gauge layout. And I'll do this all, um, all in the same video, just so it's easy. Um, I'll go into the end gauge layout and I will sort of explain by show the area I want to add sort of some buildings or something to and what I still need to do on that layout. So. What I'll do is I'll bring 2251, come along the back straight, back into the station, and then I'll go on over in there. She has stopped on a point, which is not ideal. Another reason why I want to have the new station with no points in the station itself. But end gauge room. So this is my end gauge layout, which is a Japanese themed layout. Uh, it's called Taihoyama, which is named after my ship, favorite ship, the IJN Taiho, which was an armored aircraft carrier uh, built during the Second World War. Um, my name means Great Phoenix, so it's called like Great Phoenix Mountain, so. so a lot of other ships were named after mountains, such as Akagi, aircraft carrier Akagi was named after Akagi Yama, Atago, Takao, named after Atago Yama, I think it's Atago Yama, but Takao Yama certainly named after sort of regions and areas in Japan but it's been a while since I've had this layout on the channel because I haven't done a, a lot with it mostly what I've done is repair work along the river because having the heating on a lot more has sort of done something and the river's contracted which has pulled parts of the Riverbank away, so I've been repairing the riverbank. Is the main thing I've been doing. So it'll probably look a little bit different to how it used to, but this did have a massive gaping hole in it. But I filled it with the ballast stones I used on the on the bank, and then used PVA glue mix to stick it all in. Same sort of PVA glue, water and washing up liquid you would use to ballast the track. I would like to get the water a bit deeper, but 
it still looks like water at the moment so I want to get fencing along this road because at the moment it's just not this Nissan, I think it's a Nissan, I can just do that otherwise which is a bit it's not very safe. I'm gonna get some along here as well. Uh, probably be a good idea around the temple as well to have some sort of fencing because otherwise you're just gonna have someone fall in theory well you'd hope the Japanese would be a bit more sensible than us because someone's got to be sensible um, underneath you can see my 009 layout which does get used fairly rarely it was a test layout but getting on to the point I'm going to put this the yellow called Canary 103 series an EMU around so there's something of interest while I talk and I'll move the camera over to the locomotive house to try and show and go over what it is that I'm wanting to develop a bit more so it's this area as you see it's pretty barren it's been covered in scenic I do need to add some more scenic to it and scenery and scatters and things to some areas. Um, but the idea I've got is I want to have some sort of small Japanese apartment block building here, an old fashioned one, so that crew and railway staff, such as you can see the little blue dots, um, those are people. So they can then come in and if they need to spend the night, they can spend the night. So in company supplied. Or, or even if they work and they want to rent a building out, then they can rent the building out. Whilst not being too far away from where they need to work. So it's just an idea, because it fills the gap. I do want to do something in the corners of the layout, because all the corners of the letter will fall away because this is two inch polystyrene on top of the baseboard and so put some bushes or shrubs or something just in the corner just so it's not quite so bland I have quite a few people I want to add um, I just move the Camera down, there's the Canary 103 series. So, along here, this needs to have some ballasty stuff for filling in so that it blends it in together. You can see there's sort of buildings here, they could do having some people. Some people should really be going along here. So, it's like they're getting ready to get to the station or they've left the station same with here so I can have this path coming up and then there's your apartment buildings I think there's enough trees on the layout this is the bridge there's the orange 103 series EMU at the bridge and then in the station there's a 110 series it's quite quite a nice runner but it seems to be quite fast but it is a nice they are nice running sets all right so i'll move back to the chair and talk a little bit more about what else i still need to do here as well as add I want to have more people and I'll sort of go over the people and other bits I've still got to add. I do want to add apartment block. I'm not sure the colour yet. Tomics make them. I don't think Kato make them. But I'll be able to have them in that area. One or two of them. One, they're four. Each one has four apartments. Just two up, two down. So I'll have a look and hopefully 
and it'll be fine. Um, the track rod over here seems to work okay. So I've got both my tender engines in the locomotive house and then my C11 at the coal stage. And in the totally Japanese network southeast class 33 in the siding there. Right, let's get to the chair and get on with the um, showing what else is I need to get. So I've got a little tub with bits and bobs in it. Um, in terms of, so this is full of people. Um, so I've got. Ooh, I think these are sort of locomotive crew, train crew. So I can open up, and I've got the orange 103 series. I can open it up if I can decipher the instructions because I cannot read kanji. I can use it. If I had someone teach me about it, I might be able to, but being self taught using Duolingo, it's just I'm not getting on with it. Um, some of them might be the steam engines, but they will likely go sort of dotted around the locomotive house at the top end of the layout over there. But what, what? Pedestrians? Tommy Tech ones as opposed to the Kato ones. Uh, there's assorted Japanese people. Uh, people in traditional dress and then I've got bits of bus stops should I want to have a bus stop so some of the people can be attached they came with these some of the Tomitech people which are like little stands I think I'm not going to see the rings and the circles which means I in theory I can rearrange how some of the people are on the out can move them around. Although for the most part I want to have people stuck down, safe, not going anywhere, so I won't lose them. Especially given how tiny they are. This bridge is wider than it needs to be really, but it does the job. I want to get another pack of these or line side workers to put on more up this end that is going by very quickly it's not on a very high speed set at all I think it's on about 40 or 30 that's a little bit better so it passes the canary one <clears throat> these are wonderful little audio views the um one of three sets yeah, you buy them as a full set, and they're really not that ex not too expensive. So they come in a box like this, the full set, the brilliant things. Yeah, I can understand context clues, and that tells you how to extend it. Essentially, means you got to extend it. Another, obviously, other products and cattle. Uh, these have traction tires, which is. A little bit annoying but it's understandable given how they're engaged so they're not going to be super heavy there we go that's that box back in so, so going on with the people you can see is a person here as uh, a person here so I'll get some more she's in tradition I think it's a she. It's very, very small, very hard to tell, especially at the distance I'm at at the moment. But I'd like to have them, sort of the traditional dress, more around this area. Sort of pedestrians, more into the stick around the station. You can have one or two people, sort of more walking under here, like this person is. Now we've got someone climbing the steps. Oi! Move that around. 
here. And so it just adds, and then there's a little temple over here, or temple shrine next to this pagoda temple. And there's someone sort of washing their hands before they go into the temple, the temple of a shrine. So, zoom in. See, there's a woman in a pink. Um, I want to say kimono, but I, I'm not well versed in fashion, so it might be a yukata or something else. At the front of a temple. And I'll see all the sakura petals I put on the surface of that some have fallen from the trees. Ignore the autumn trees over this way. So that's the main thing I want to do is I want to well a lot to do. I want to finish touching up the river. Might add another layer of water to it. The Jeeves water stuff, which is what I used, and it doesn't have stink when it's fresh out of the bottle, but when it's once it's dry. And it doesn't shrink, it's alright. But I think it's just because it got so dry in here, a bit being winter. So some repair work is expected. I uh, don't need more cars really. Tons of Nissans and Toyotas, so that's enough. Um, stick the people on. Maybe get another little signal box so there's Signal box all the way back over there, the yellow. Um, is in the EMU is going past it now. I might get another one, shove it over here. They're not too expensive. The most expensive thing is the postage from Japan. Because, then again, I don't know if it's changed for 2024, but ordering less than £200, FedEx don't charge me. I don't know necessarily if it's the same. But I have been charged FedEx for, from FedEx for import fees and item on when the package is worth less than £200. Well, it's more than £200, even by a fiber. Oh, yeah, they'll charge you. <laughs> I'll get charged. I've had that. But it's normal, import fees are normal. Which is why I tend to order in bulk and um, what I need when I'm actively working. But, yeah, so I want to do, I want to stick people down, I want to add um, some fencing around, add another layer of water, and just generally try and get some more vehicles. Just, oh, here comes the 103. Yeah, it's, it's really controllable. It is moving at that low speed. The motor car is the one with the pantograph, but it's got full interiors in all of them, as far as I can tell. And the pantograph does spring up. Well, it's not spring up, but it's posable. Let's bring it back now. In the upward position. Which brings us on to something else I want to do, is I want to add catenary. I've got the catenary poles, I should be able to do it. And this is run all off of a Gage Master combi. So, that's it for Tahoyama. The last sort of layout is Strixland. I'll do a full layout update video after this one for that layout. But for now, I want to just show, or go over rather, what it is I want to do and what plans I have for that layout. So, to the living room. Right then, well this lap probably looks quite a bit different compared to it does in the last video um, and the plan for the layout changed as well but I'll go into that again in my next video which will be a more of a layout update for the for this layout. So this is Strixland which is <coughs> sort of the idea is it's a preserved light railway, preserved just so I can run of 
engines all from different eras. So I promise I don't have a problem. Now these two are technically this one, but I've sort the bodies on. But cheaper than getting them second hand. Second hand I've seen them over £200. Whereas it's 125 plus 42 for the body versus 200 pound, I think. So yeah, these are probably the last ones I'll pick up. Um, but what I need to do here is I need to have some more people, particularly over in the car park. So that's some more people. But the main thing I need to do at the moment is get an art pencil and blend in all the Metcalf tarmac sheeting. At the moment, it's not quite blended right, and you can see here there's white from the side of the card, and it's by my best efforts to match it all up correctly. So, get some art pencil, maybe a little bit of some scenic stuff, I'm just sort of blending it in, making it like it's different material to what's on the road but make it look a little bit more aged than it is now and blended in a bit better but other, other than some more people and doing that this layout's pretty much done so, um, I also want to on the bridge as it comes down you can see sort of white and that's rigids I've done out of the Metcalf card that came with the bridge that was left over <coughs> oh sorry and my idea for that is I want to again weather it or blend it in with a bit of an art, of art pencil just so it's a bit more blended in and it looks a bit more organic and a bit more Real, and there's some other little areas I need to touch up on along the sort of the scenic side of things. But otherwise, it's yeah, I mean, that, that's a small, small, I say small, it's 1.8 meters or six foot by one meter, which I think, I think is about three, four, three, five, all second radius. Again, these USA tanks are brilliant runners. Uh, so, that's the main things for this year in terms of the plans for all the layouts, what I've got to do this year. As you can see, this one's been ballasted, but I'll go over a better a, a layout update video. So, this one has been ballasted properly, and so I'll probably do that on the uh, rebuild of Crowswood. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for 2024 plans. Hard to believe we're still in January. So much has happened just in this one month. online and offline and all around the world there's been so much stuff going on Japan started the year with an earthquake and then a plane crash they got just as that and then there's 2024 is certainly going to be a year isn't it it's going to be a heck of a year well just one small, one little quick thing I noticed. Traffic goes. I need to tighten them up and stick them around some more places. Mostly in my car park area, but I think that will do. Um, yeah, that's the 2024 plans. Um, I do hope Daypol make a brake vans unpainted like they've done these wagons so I can get them in the same colours or colour scheme of the dark red roof. But, 
Yeah, I think that'll do it. I'll have some running shots um, of some various things running around that are on the layouts. Um, but I'll sign off. Um, again, next video will be a Strixland update. So, until that one, I shall see you in a layout update video.